Hey everybody, I'm back. I've uh, been gone for a little while when it comes to paintball videos. I did some other videos, but uh, just wanted to get back into it. i got two videos coming up here. We're going to do it in two parts. Uh, but the first one is the big reveal. I just got my gun uh, parts all in. I put it all together, and we have the brand new design. And da -da 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 -da. There it is. Get the M4 AR-15, M16 look to it. Still got the grenade launcher, but the biggest difference is we've gone Apex 2. Ah, it's one on the other side too, so I didn't need to flip it over. Apex 2 is now on there. No more flat line for me. This is the biggest reason I wanted to do this change. I took the flat line out. I've been planning like crazy. It was like hyper inaccurate. It was a ball blah, 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 everywhere. Um, totally peppering people. I swear to God, it looked like everybody had a force field because the balls would just whew, right past them. Every no matter what I did, got the range, didn't get the power, or the accuracy. So, got rid of this bad boy. But the sad, sad thing about it was, to get rid of this bad boy, you get rid of these. You get rid of this. And by getting rid of those, you get rid of that. So, it came to me, I had to ask myself, well, how am I going to get that back on there? Let's hold this around so I can hold it a little easier. So, how am I going to get these, uh, the grenade launcher back on there? Well, I needed a shroud. Well, this shroud was not easy to come by. It is based on the Metadyne Industries 6.5 inch shroud, which is really popular in the, here in the States. But it's actually made from a company um, in Canada, and I cannot remember their name. I'll post it right down there. But um, in Canada, they made they basically the Metadyne one got discontinued in the, here in the States. And what they did is they basically took over and started making it themselves. It's a knockoff. But it's made out of aircraft aluminum. It's really well made. I think it's hard on there. It is not wiggling at all. It is a floating shroud, so that gives me an option of any barrel I want. You can, you can kind of see in there that there's a, there's a space running around it, and that runs all the way back to the back. So I can unscrew the barrel on that and take it right out and put any barrel I want in there. If I want to put my old classic barrel on there for some weird reason, I could. Um, how, how far would that stick out? It would only, only stick out like an inch. Two inches, maybe. Um, so, that's really cool. And then, now I wanted to get that space in there. So, with the 14-inch barrel that this guy came with, there was a little skepticism whether it was going to fit or not. So, to make sure I gained that extra inch of safety, uh, I got the Lapco Big Shot 12-inch barrel and moved the Apex over to it. And by the way, Apex, Empire, you guys, when you say toolless, you know, doesn't need tools to disassemble, that is BS. <laughs> this thing required a lot of tools to disassemble. Uh, it didn't require, like, a screwdriver or a, you know, hex wrench or anything, but it required tweezers to get the O-rings off gently. It required, a, well, it didn't require a screwdriver to pry it apart so that I could get it on there. Um, unfortunately, now, I was going to disassemble this thing and put it on to show you how it works. I was going to, I wanted to do a video of the Apex shooting and all that stuff. Honestly, I just can't. Sorry, I can't financially do it, first of all. And secondly, when it comes to disassembling this thing, I, I've kind of made it permanent. So, uh, um, there's just, it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, can't. I was trying to get this thing apart a minute ago, and it just, no, it's it's on there solid. Um, I'll get into how you construct it here in a minute, but yeah. So I'm going to talk about the three things real quick that I got. Obviously the Apex. I'm sorry I don't have a video of it shooting, but this is YouTube. You don't need a video of it shooting. There's 30 more. It's probably all on the side of my little wall just right down here. You can see them. Um, just just Google it, Apex 2 shooting, some unbelievable videos of the balls arcing to the right or arcing to the left or dive bombing. I cannot wait to play with that stuff. You get the adjustment so that you can give it more or less hop up. Um, yeah, it's going to be sick. And it looks sick. It looks like a silent stem 4. I mean, it doesn't have the big uh, sight on the front, but that's okay. You got the We got the scope on there. You know, the red dot that is going to be replaced soon as well. Still needs to be really, oh god, that needs to be cleaned. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it <laughs> looks sick. Um, so the Apex, really nice. The Big Shot 12-inch barrel, 
Again, this is another thing I would like to check out. I'd like to shoot it, see what's going on. It's got a mirror finish on the inside. It's just gorgeous, you know. Especially if you start looking at like the stock barrel. My God, this thing is just gnarly on the inside. I can't believe a ball ever made it out of there. Uh, but you have the mirror finish, so my balls should be more accurate. That's what he said. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, so, but that's, again, that's not something I can talk too much about. It's a nice barrel. It's an improvement, at least, even though I got two inches out of it. That's what she said. Um, it's, uh, you know, still an improved barrel, so, I mean, it's better than what it came with. Um, the important part of this whole thing, though, the, the, the mother of it all, was the shroud. The Metadyne knockoff shroud. It took me four weeks to get this thing. Uh, I had to deal with... Uh, I won't get into it. Uh, the video will be too long to to get it to it. I went through hell. I, let me tell you, I'll give you one story to give you hell. When it finally arrived yesterday on UPS, the guy came in the 15 minutes that I went to go get lunch. He came and dropped it, tried to drop it off and I, I just missed it by like 10 or 5 minutes or something like that. Had to go to the UPS store to go get it. When I got to the UPS store, no joke, a funnel cloud was forming above it. There was a tornado alert right over the building where my shroud was sitting. And I had to go into their bomb shelter thing, whatever, and hide out for a few minutes. I'm like, I just want my shroud. The lady comes out, takes it out, starts like in the bag, and she's like, clang, clang, clang. She's like, oh, it's like clanging. I wonder what's in there. It's something that you shouldn't be clanging on the table. Good Lord, Lord, lady, give it to me. Give it to me. So I was losing my mind yesterday, and I'm so glad it's on there. And is it worth it? Not really. I mean, it's cool, but no, it's 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 awesome. It's just that. There are cheaper options I think might be better for most people. But I will get into it so you guys can talk about, you know, to yourselves whether you want it or not. The reason I got this specific shroud and why I went through so much hell to get it is because unlike the A5's flatline that has these rails on it like this, these are plastic or composite rails held on by four little tiny screws. As my five-pound grenade launcher dangled from it, over time, it began to wiggle them loose. I have actually lost a screw on here. I didn't even realize there was a screw missing. So that could have just broken off at any point in time. And it was really, two of these screws are stripped. I mean, you're talking about, a, just that's just annoying. What this guy, this guy right here does is, and I get to keep my rail armor too, but that doesn't actually fit on exactly right, so I have to sand these down. But let's get that rail armor off. I don't know how well you can see this. You definitely can't see the detail of it. These are not screwed on. These are not plastic. They are aluminum rails that are cut right out of a chunk of aluminum. They are part of it. And they are freaking solid. I mean, this thing is a, I would say, a quarter of an inch thick aluminum, aircraft-grade aluminum. Honestly, you can sit here and shake it. It does not wiggle. It does not come even close to hitting the barrel. The barrel doesn't wiggle. I mean, this thing is is unbelievably solid. And what's nice about it, what it does is you got an, an adapter piece you put on. Then you screw the whole shroud on individually. Then you set the shroud where you want it. If you wanted it at a 45 degree, that's fine. If you wanted it at the 90 normal, that's fine. If you wanted it at 15 and a half degrees, okay, that's fine. You know, somehow you wanted it to line up with the the angled scope, okay, that's to each his own. Um, but it's got this little locking ring here, and you just screw that the other way. And while you're screwing it, uh, the uh, it locks into place. And when it locks into place, this thing just doesn't move. And I was thinking to myself, like, well, I, I used to be a bit of an engineer. That doesn't seem to make sense to me because you would think that, well, yeah, sure, you screw them into each other. Won't they just both rotate and loosen? No. I can. I said a second ago that I wanted to disassemble this and show it to you guys. Couldn't do it. I had my big, big muscular friend from next door over here. He couldn't do it. I, I, it's, I am just so shocked at how solid this thing is. Like, I just... It is like a real gun at this point in time. It is so meaty, and I, I love that M4 look. So... Yeah, I mean, that, if that's what you want. And what's nice is it's a floating shroud. It's clear all the way down. You can unscrew the Empire barrel here, or the Lapco barrel, get it out, put whatever barrel you want in there. You don't have to be limited to a certain barrel like you do on some shrouds. It's, it's really nice. The, the only downside is, is that, um, first of all, if you get this thing, 
rail armor. You have to get this because these things, the, the little metal things, are sharp. God, they hurt your hands to hold on to, especially if you don't have a grenade launcher to hold on to. And you want to get it all, let's do that actually, let's get all M4 style on here. Um, like this rail right here, dude, is like, it's just killer on your hands. So you got to put another piece of rail armor right there. I have another piece, but whatever. Or get a grip or something, mount it on there, and uh, have the grip. But then you get that, that M4 style as well. I just, I, I love the way this thing looks now. It's just so beautiful. And I cannot wait to see how much more accurate it is. It is going to be sweet. So, there it is. I'm going to do another video in a second where I'm not talking about uh, the parts themselves. Uh, like I said, Apex 2, I'll try to get a video of the flatline versus it. But granted, since I can't seem to take this thing apart, maybe I won't do that. But, I might, I might ask a friend, I'm like, hey, is that your A5? Can I put my flat line on it? Because I don't want to take my own part again. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys. Well, look for future videos where I hopefully get to test things. And uh, the next video I'll talk about, I'll talk about um, parts in general and uh, the budget and all that stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.